Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio. I'm Khalid Maidan and today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the most common fractures to occur, particularly in the elderly age group, and that is a pubic rami fracture. I'm going to be taking you through what the fracture is and how it might be managed. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So first of all, let's look at the anatomy of the pelvis. So the pelvis can be split into three distinct regions. The ilium bone, the ischium bone, and the pubis bone. Now the pubis can be further broken down into the superior ramus, the body of the pubis, and the inferior ramus, which is where the word rami comes from. And when these areas suffer a fracture, most commonly following a trauma, such as when a patient falls directly onto their bottom, this is what we call a pubic rami fracture. So that's the anatomy, and we can see that the pubic bone is really deep in the pelvic region. This can make it incredibly difficult to operate on and almost impossible to plaster correctly for the patient. And therefore, you may well find that these fractures are managed more commonly conservatively rather than surgically. Now, a pubic rami fracture can be broken down further into a stable fracture or an unstable fracture. A stable pubic rami fracture may look like this, where there is a clear fracture of the bone, but no displacement of the bone. These fractures often heal nicely, and you may find that the weight-bearing status of the patient is along the lines of weight-bearing as tolerated, where they are allowed to mobilize, but within the levels of comfort and tolerance. An unstable pubic rami fracture may look like this, which is more likely with a more significant trauma. Here, the pubic bone is clearly displaced, and as you can see, may be associated with other fractures around the pelvis too. These patients are more at risk of non-union or malunion, and as a result, you may find that their weight-bearing status is classed as non-weight-bearing, toe-touch weight-bearing, or partial weight-bearing until sufficient healing has occurred to allow them to progress further. And in some circumstances, if the unstable fracture is significant enough, surgical options may be considered by the medical team. So it's crucial for us to say that the details in this video should be seen as just general information and not strict medical advice. Your patient's pubic rami fracture will be managed differently depending on the weight-bearing status of the patient before the injury, their past medical history, the severity of the fracture, and lots of other factors. And therefore, for the exact instructions for your patient, always consult their orthopedic team. But otherwise, that completes our video, and if you've enjoyed it, there's loads more information that you can find from us at Clinical Physio. In the description below, you'll see the details for our Instagram account and our website www.clinicalphysio.com, where we have loads of resources for students and graduated physiotherapists. My name's Khalid Maidan, it's been a pleasure to speak to you today, and we'll see you really soon, right here on Clinical Physio.